If you are dying to get started in videography, if you think you have some skills, if you've been doing some vlogging, if you've been in YouTube, if you just wanna break into the industry, how do you do it? It's the question that everyone wants to know and we're gonna try and answer it today. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to A Bite of Brownie. I wanna try and use these Fridays to share some of the stuff that I'm learning actively and some of the things that I have learned because I know that there's plenty of entrepreneurs out there, plenty of pastors or Christians who are looking for a side hustle and this is an excellent time to get into video. You can use it in so many ways. You can use it in the church, you can use it to bless businesses. It's an amazing opportunity to share the love of Christ with people and to bring in a passive income for yourself. So how do you get started? Well, my friends, YouTube, YouTube, and YouTube some more. One of the greatest resources in the world is at your fingertips, literally, L literally. You can hop on YouTube and learn from any creator that you want. Look at transitions, look at how people put things together. Learn certain things like ISO, aperture, shutter speed, lighting, sound, all of those things. Hop on the ye old YouTube and go crazy. Learn, put in the hours, put in the work to learn, 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 learn. The time that I was off from my daily job whenever I was trying to go to bed thinking, man, I could do something with this. I think I could take these videos and these vlogs that I've been learning on and I think I could do more with them. I started to learn from YouTube. How do you get the perfect lighting? I'm still working on it. How do you get better audio? How do you tell a better story? How do you do all that stuff? Hop on YouTube and do your due diligence. Find a YouTuber that you respect or a show that you respect, a documentary, whatever it is, watch that show and don't steal, but learn from them. What makes it interesting to you? What transitions, what lighting, what color grade, what makes it interesting to you and dive in. Follow the rabbit trail of YouTube. What did your favorite content creator do to hold your attention? Find out what they did and replicate it. Some of my favorite creators hold my attention through magnificent story, but also cinematic B-roll that takes you from from one place to the next, it shows you what they're doing. Take cues from what holds your attention and apply it to your own video work. Number two, just start making stuff. You're never gonna be perfect. Your stuff in your own mind is probably never going to measure up to the level that you wanna be at and it's definitely not gonna look like your favorite YouTubers, documentary makers, and creators right out of the gate. What you're gonna need to do is make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos. Just start making stuff. I made over 100, yeah, I think it's over 100. I've made, I think I'm at 200 something now. I've made over 200 videos and I'm still learning. Each time that I make a video, I learn something new. I'm still learning about sound. As a matter of fact, I went on a documentary shoot for Heart of Many Colors and we just now realized how important sound truly is. If you don't have multiple forms of audio with the proper wind protection, imagine as he walks and talks with the proper environmental protections to make sure that you get clear and crisp audio. <laughs> You just, it's just not gonna happen. You can learn that you need good audio in theory. You can hear it on a video, but whenever you put it into practice and you shoot 50, 60 videos and realize- Jesus says, though your sin is red as crimson, I have made you white as snow. Okay, we might have to just jump ship. Sound is essential. Well, you take that lesson to heart. And the next time you go out into the field, you make sure that your sound is on point. I was probably 100 videos in before I understood lighting. I was probably 250 videos in before I understood audio. Thank you, Joshua, for helping me put a wrangle on that out of control audio level. Blech. I have messed up far more than I have ever gotten things right, but I have learned from each encounter. And to tell you the truth, that's the only way you can do it. You can learn from YouTube, you can get the basics and the tools, but where the rubber meets the road, when you actually make a video, that's when you learn the most. Bit out of an Eve struggle. Everything on YouTube is theory and possibility until you put it into actual practice. And number three, put yourself out there. Take a risk. Make some videos for some people. Go out and find some friends who, who you trust or, or some businesses you wanna add value. You wanna bring something to their business that they could use. Make free, valuable stuff for a business that you love. Give them things that they can post on their social media. Give them pieces of content that they can release. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know it's controversial to give stuff away for free whenever you're doing a business, but trust me, whenever you give videos away to clients and it produces results for them, give them a valuable product, they will be asking you for so many more videos. The amazing thing about that is you make videos for clients that you love, you actually attract the clients who are like-minded. And that's it guys, do your homework on YouTube. Find people that you like, study them, study their ways, study how to do it, study aperture, study lighting, study sound, study, study, study. 
Put it into practice on your own. Put it into practice on vlogs. Put it into practice in videos like this. Put it into practice. Learn how to use your camera. Learn how to put people at ease when they're in front of a camera. Learn your craft. And then take a risk. Take a risk. Go out there, find somebody, find a guinea pig, find a friend, find a business they'll say, yep, sure, go ahead. Or even just do it and give it to them. And if they choose not to use it, they choose not to use it. Keep on upping your game until whenever they see that piece of content, they're gonna use it. Give them an amazing product and then just try not to get hired. All right, I think that's it for me, guys. I love you and I will see you in the next one. I'm out. Ha ha ha!